Okay, here we have two parallel lines because they say M is parallel to K. That's how we know they're parallel. This is M, this is K. We have this line cutting through both of them, and here's S degrees we have, and then here, this more acute angle, is T degrees. Finally, we're given the information that S equals T plus 30. They want to know what is the value of T. Now, it's interesting to note, whenever you have two parallel lines and the lines intersecting them, that line breaks up into two angles, the larger angles and the smaller angles. The larger plus the smaller will always equal 180. And if you have a smaller angle, such as the one down here, where we have T, that will be equal to this angle here because the lines are parallel. And this bigger angle here will be equal to S. So you can see that S plus T has to equal 180. Or you can just switch things over and say S is equal to 180 minus T, because now we can put this into there. And when we do that, we get 180 minus T is equal to T plus 30. And then using, adding both sides by T, we end up getting 2T on this side. We subtract both sides by 30. So on this side, we end up getting 180 minus 30, which is 150. 2t equals 150, t equals 75. And there's our answer, which is c. Now, you could have done it another way. You could have said, hey, I'm going to plug in the answer choices. I'm going to start with the middle number, which is c, which is 75. You plug there into, into t. You assume t is 75. If that's the case, then s here has to equal 105. Again, we know that s plus t has to equal 180. Does 105 plus 75 equal 180? Yep, so therefore C has to be the answer.